The high school football season is nearing next Friday. We'll get our first look at the three St. Joseph School District football teams as well as Savannah when they take to the field for the city jamboree. After that, we are off and running with the 2024 regular season with the season so close. Let's do our two week warning where we preview the teams in our area, starting with the team that shattered expectations a year ago. The St. Joseph Christian Lions before 2023, they won just one game in the previous four seasons. Then in 2023, something clicked and the Lions went on to win seven games, including a district game against rival LeBlanc. The Lions returned Cy Carlson, Peyton Hausman, and Logan Hubble, just to name a few. Not a lot of seniors that they lost, so still plenty of experience there. Moving to the Central Indians, they welcome new head coach Sheldon Farrell. Farrell was the offensive coordinator before taking the job this past spring. The Indians have won 60% of their games the last two years, including a 7-3 record last year. Gabe Fields returns for his senior season. The superb running back could become the all-time leading rusher in Central history this season. The Benton Cardinals will open their season at home against Northeast Kansas City. The Cardinals welcome back Corey Bertini for his second season as the Cardinals head coach. The team went 2-8 and eight a year ago, averaging its lowest points per game scoring since 2020. The Cardinals put up just under 12 points per game in 2023. We'll see if they can improve upon that. As for their rival Lafayette, things can really only go up from here. Just one win in the last two seasons for the Fighting Irish. One in nine last season. Nate Darty enters his second season with the program. If the MEC ends up having a down year, the Fighting Irish could squeak out a few more wins than they've gotten in the past. They will have to improve upon the 55 points per game allowed to opponents that they registered in 2023 if they want to add to that win total. The Bishop LeBlanc Golden Eagles, well, they were a young team last year and they took a little bit of a step back last season, let's put it that way, just because of it. After winning 20 games the previous two seasons in 2021 and 2022, they go just four and five in 2023. Now they're a year older. Chuck Davis is still at the helm, and the hope is for them to return to their old form. Jacob Winklebauer returns. Cooper Tabor will be back at quarterback for the program, and we'll see how their season shakes out. Those are the teams in St. Joseph. Let's look at the other teams that will of course, have our eye on this upcoming season, as we do every year. Savannah was as solid as they've ever been. They do lose star running back Kate Chappelle, among several others who played a role in their success the last couple of seasons. Savages open up the season at home against Pleasant Hill on the 30th. Mid Buchanan, despite having some bad luck towards the end of the season, the Dragons still managed to win eight games. The expectation is for them to be just as good as last year, given the experience on the roster. And East Buchanan, well, they've been probably one of the most dominant programs in all of Missouri. Definitely the most dominant program in this area, coming off another successful season at 11 and one. They do lose a lot, particularly all state running back Trevor Klein and starting quarterback Gage Busby. Filling those roles will be critical if the Bulldogs want to maintain success.